Well, now, as the growth pace of the information age quickens, high-speed internet access across Africa is becoming widely available. Uganda's Makerere University is one of the few universities in East Africa taking advantage of this technology advancement by offering free internet access to all of its students. Africa 54's Paul Ndiho recently visited the Kampala campus and filed this report. In many parts of Africa, students are using desktop computers or personal laptops to do coursework and a connector with friends on the social networking sites via the internet is not taken for granted. This computer lab at Makere University in Kampala, Uganda, is arguably one of the biggest labs in the country. Hundreds, if not thousands, of students come here every day to search the web, to do their courseworks, and do so many other things that they can access online. Accessing high-speed internet in most parts of the country has not been possible because of slow and patchy services from providers that rely heavily on limited and very expensive satellite links. But in the last couple of years here, the university decided to connect the entire campus. And now the students enjoy free wireless internet. Ochaya Kenneth is pursuing a bachelor's degree in information systems at Makere's School of Computing and Information Technology. He says the university's decision to connect the whole campus could not have come at a better time. We have decided to give for them this first floor where they can access easy wireless and, 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 and use internet for, for working on their projects and also doing studies. This computer lab here has become a hotspot. On average, over 500 students at the university frequent the lab to surf the net because of the free service. They say that it's faster and that it's transforming their way of life and how they communicate with each other. I spoke with three software engineering students are studying for a test. So most people come here to do their courseworks and assignments and also probably to finish up with their personal work. Come to discuss and complete coursework. The whole fact that you are allowed to talk, so you prefer reading from here than going to the library, you can discuss, you access something on the internet. Free internet also allows our students to do a little bit of online business and check out what's happening on the social networking sites. Firstly, I come in the computer lab especially to do my academic stuff, as in to make some research on my work, and secondly, yeah, to communicate with my friends on internet. I gain much from the internet here, because most of the things are online. So at times, I do some online businesses here. But not every student is excited about the free high-speed internet. Some students are complaining that the networks are too slow and that it takes them forever to log on because of the number of people using the service at any given time. According to research commissioned by ESET, a global cybersecurity company, almost half of Internet users worldwide connect to the web using desktop computers and portable devices as primary connection devices. Desktops are the most popular, followed by laptops, uh, smartphones, and tablets. This is indicative of uh, the demand for Wi-Fi hotspots. These students are excited about the future of Africa's internet service. Most of the code is on the internet. All you have to do is, is Google it and, and then use it, reuse it for your own benefit. So now if we did not have the internet, trust me, <laughs> it would be more hectic. The internet is, is really promising. We get to, to, to view other people's code and interpret it in a different way and use it to, to develop other applications. Technology experts are not that a while wireless technology is convenient, especially for travelers, users should guard against the criminals prowling the networks. However, for these students, the sky is the limit. Paul Ndiho, VOA News, Makere University, Kampala, Uganda.